Okay, it sticks all the way forward. Two motors are constantly losing throttle. They won't stop anymore at least. At least they keep running now. Uh, this one, this one here, full blast, 1850, it's running at full throttle. This one's running, what, 1500, 15 something. These are idled down practically almost to a stopping point. Now, it's all I gotta do is twitch the throttle up and left. And everything kicks up there right up around. I can actually make the upper left one go to 1850. The bottom right one, the right rear, is all the way up to 1850. But, I got 1400 on the left front, right front I mean, and even less on the right rear, left rear. Jeez. They're all sl almost even for a minute. With the throttle full forward, now they're, there they go, they're fading back down. This thing just doesn't make any sense at all. It's like it has no steady speed. Two of the motors always fade out. And it's always the same too. And then if you kick the throttle the other direction, put in some yaw in it or whatever it's called, then Everything seems to run fine on that side. So it's got something to do with my uh, radio, I believe. I can't really tell what the problem is. They start up fairly well, except for that right front one's always better on throttle response than all the rest of them. Unless, of course, you do something with the throttle, like move it up up and to the left. The minute you let go of it, they all go back to the same screwed up one strong and three weak. I don't know what to do here. Alright, I'm going to upload this Arduino sketch. Um, it's going to calibrate the ESCs. I have two motors hanging down, two of them are mounted. It's going to start all the motors up. It's going to show that the ESCs are all running things perfectly. All these motors, four motors, will start up and run at the same time. But then when I go to use my controller, it doesn't happen. That was the ESC calibration in the Arduino file. Now, what I have to go do is I have to go on comment it here in this Arduino file that I'm working on. Okay, I've been messing with this stupid thing for the last hour or so, uh, since about 4.30. It's 5.30 now. Uh, the, I, I'm, I have a broken motor mount, so I won't be flying this thing until at least tomorrow or the day after. But uh, I did a lot of research and a lot of work, and I came on, came to the conclusion that my radio was not in sync with the signals it was sending or something. Anyway, nothing was centered right, nothing was working. Max, back off for a minute. My dog's trying to get up in my face. I want to make this video. Anyway, I, I messed with all the trim controls, this little button right here and that button right there. This you gotta put where it's gotta be to arm the thing. So, but anyway, after I messed with them enough, I found that I found a I could find a happy medium where all the throttles start up at the same time. So here we go. I'll show you. Well, that's real close. I mean, uh, I think I think it's flyable now. Full speed, 730, 720, 770, 720. I'm saying that's pretty much insane. So hopefully, 
The next take I, time I take this thing out to launch it, it'll go up instead of flip over in a barrel roll. We seem to have pretty even power on all the motors. Still might be a little bit wacky, but they're real close. So that's my progress for today. I'm gonna hang it up for now. Be happy with what happened, uh, and hope for the best. Okay, it's all back together after the crash. Uh, I made a new motor mount from another piece of a. Uh, circuit board just like the other ones. They're, they're easily replaceable. That's why I made them that way Knowing it was gonna crash and if something had to give I'd rather have the whole thing just crack and then make a new one. But anyway uh, I got the motors to run in sync as I said earlier in the video and uh, It's got its props back on They're all balanced up. They're all rotating the right way Um. I don't know what else I can do. I guess we'll try another little maiden flight, uh, maybe over in the park tomorrow or something. We'll see. Well, it won't be a maiden flight. If it gets off the ground, it'll be a maiden flight. <laughs> if it doesn't get off the ground and crashes again, it'll be the third crash. So we'll see what we can do.